into our tube. And you'll want to grab a pair of scissors for this part as well. And you'll see why in a second here. So go ahead and take your wrapped cellophane and slowly insert it into one end of your lightsaber tube. You push it all the way down to the end until it stops. And then you can pull out your wooden dot rod. And set that aside. So now what we have, uh, if you see, the cellophane has a smaller diameter than the tube diameter, so it looks uh, somewhat weird, but we'll fix that here. So first thing we need to do, though, is take our scissors and actually chop off the end of the cellophane there. The excess cellophane because we're not going to need that anymore and so now what you can do is you see me take my fingertip there and start to slowly unravel the cellophane in the tube and you can actually uh, pull it out a little bit if it makes it a little easier And so what's, what that's doing is actually filling the entire tube of our, cell, of our plastic tube with the cellophane. And so as you can see, it starts to really even out the look of the uh, tube and the blade there. And so now we have a nice, even lightsaber tube that we'll use to diffuse the light evenly and make our lightsaber blade very, very nice lightsaber blade. Now on the end, just so we just so we prevent the cellophane from falling out. We can take a bead of crazy glue or some other glue if you have lying around. Elmer's glue may work as well. Just run a bead along the, the inside there where the cellophane is. It comes in contact with your polycarbonate tube and let it dry. And so what that does again is it prevents our cellophane from sl sliding back out of the tube. And there you have it, your lightsaber blade. Now in the next video, we're going to put everything together. So our light source, our hilt, and our blade. And we'll fire up our lightsaber. And so you can see uh, how cool everything is once it's all put together. So I'll see you in the next video.